want to flex my love yeah. I want to impress yeah. And I want to carry my love yeah. To a place she loves yeah. I'm a man, man, man. Yeah. I want to impress yeah. And I want to carry my love yeah. To a place she loves centers so all of us for this country we can't do conference for Enugu here Nano Nano no say Enugu get a uh, good luck yes. this time yes. for all of us to come to Enugu it means that uh, we value Enugu states so these are some of the executive members of the association and the planning committee I don't need to start mentioning their names because of, uh, of time Normally, when we come for conferences like this, waiting with the group is say, we go do waiting that they call medical outreach. All the things we want to do here today are free. Nobody will pay for anything. Whether na test, to, whether na drug, to, whether na cancel, you know, all these things normally we are supposed to pay for them. But we are here today to deliver these services free of charge. To so as many people as possible, we could come here today. We could give them that services. And I want to join us. Make we no rush. Make we just do them orderly. If they call you, you could do what you're supposed to. They don't do them in such a way. We could say you could first start from this point. Then you will go to that side. Then you do your test. You will go that side. Then you cancel you. The last point, you will collect your drugs. So, if you get any question, maybe question where they say you don't even go to hospital before, when you don't remember, ask your pharmacist. You go ask them for here, they go answer them. Anything about drugs, anything about your uh, your sickness and whatever, then go answer them. So no hide anything from us. So if you hide anything, uh, like you sabi. Uh -huh. So then, if there are some things that we cannot handle here, we go refer you appropriately hmm? to the doctor when you go feel sick and things like that because we know they do surgery here uh -huh. not just to take care of small small ailments malaria that's the way they do and all that and that one we come for is actually part of the corporate social responsibility of uh, our association to actually give back to the society 
that produce us. That is why we are here physically today. Na bagam, ma checking all the bounds. My mansion on a badam, baby, take a look around. My bank alert, na bagam, ma checking all the bounds. My mansion on a badam, make you take a look around. Hey, girl, it's up to you. What I dey pray, you say I do. Hey, I yeah. Go tell your papa, say na me dey come for you. Starting from the fact that uh, the team of our conference is achieving universal health coverage, the role of hospital and administrative pharmacists, we have a big role to play when it comes to achieving uh, the universal health coverage. That is actually where we are going, where everybody is going. Uh, we have discovered that a lot of people do not are not yet enrolled on the National Health Insurance Act. Uh, most people these days, what they do is that they pay out of pocket expenses, and because of the economic situation, it is not easy for people to actually be able to afford their medications and all that. So, the association, as part of our corporate social responsibility to the communities, anywhere we are having our conferences, it is our usual practice, and that is why we have chosen this particular community where a lot of people are expected to benefit from pharmaceutical care and all that. So, the, and also for us to be able to give back to the community that produced us. So that is what informed uh, this medical outreach. Today, we have given out drugs not less than a million naira. Uh, besides the fact that we also have some other personnel that will have to give stipends. And uh, of course, we also have uh, we also have to acquire some other devices like uh, uh, speed, speed and uh, blood sugar monitoring devices and all that. So we are talking of not less than 1.5 million that we have expended uh, on this particular project. Yeah, I have, we have a culture. Any, whenever we have a national conference, because of uh, one, uh, once a year, during the month of August, but at the commencement of our uh, national conference, we, we organize health outreach, medical outreach, health outreach to, to the community. And it's a way of uh, our playing back in society. Okay. We, are, we achieve uh, uh, like killing two best ones to we let them know that we're around. We, we, we let the community know that we're around, sensitize them to our association, what our association stands for, and then this is the opportunity also to attend to their health needs. Okay. We know that the uh, cost, of, cost of medical care now is very, is very it's on the high side. So we are organizing medications, medicines, which we give to them uh, free of charge. We know if you go to the hospital, to the, the pharmacy shop now, to procure anti malaria medication, it's it, not less than 3,000. We are come here and we're going to offer these medications free to these people. 
money or to make community people at no cost to them. Okay, so this is part of what uh, we offer as pharmacies at, uh, during our national conference. And like I said, usually at the beginning of our conference, the first of the conference, we organize this uh, health outreach to the community. We will let them know what, who we are, you know, medicine experts, and let them know. Also encourage them to procure their medications from registered pharmacy shops. So that's part of the reason why we organize uh, such a health outreach. Thank you very much. We are in Enugu right now, and this is the medical outreach that usually use to start up the Awana conference. And we are having some, um, the medical outreach to reach out to the people in the society. And yeah, so from here we give medical advice, we give out drugs, and we also give them, we do a lot of counseling, especially for those that have um, um, some um, ailments that might not, they might not know, we have gotten people that have just got to know, they have BP, and we're also uh, giving them counseling. And we are expecting that even after they attended to here, they are supposed to follow up at hospitals and maybe a primary health care center. I'm sure for uh, with the ones we have attended to while here, both children, female, uh, male and female adults, I'm sure we should have gotten about 200 people we saw just today. And also in terms of value, you know, you, you might not be able to, value, to to put up a value to what we have done in terms of the, the services we have rendered. Pharmaceutical care values apart from drugs. So I'm sure even with the drugs and we get very expensive drugs, it's really going to be on the high side. But majorly, the counseling, the advices we have, we have, the advice we have given today, I think they will count more than for us. It's more than what we could actually quantify in terms of money. Today, we are starting off Cold City 2024. We thank God it's happening today. So we are here at Arena Asia 9 at Obia to give out to the community our free service as pharmacists. We want to give back to the society. So today we are doing screening, free screening for blood pressure, for blood glucose. We are giving out free drugs. All the essential drugs we are giving them out today free. So we are glad that we are giving back to the society. By course, you cannot quantify the amount of service we are giving today. Our pharmaceutical care services, the screening and the drug, you can't quantify them. I cannot tell you, there are millions, but we are giving them out free of charge, the glory of money. We refer so many patients to tertiary hospitals. There are some with other chronic diseases, heart failure, that need to go for more tests. So we wrote different tests and we refer them up to the tertiary hospitals. So many of them. Even some don't even know that they have. Um, um, high blood glucose, even hypertension. So we really can sue them on lifestyle modification and how to continue to go for their checkup and monitor their blood pressure and blood glucose. This is just a part of our program, our national conference, national conference of hospital pharmacists and administrative pharmacists. So Enugu is actually the center for this year. So that is why the conference is actually here. It's rotated all over Nigeria. This year is the turn of Enugu. State. So the health outreach is just part of the program that we do. Today we flag off the conference. It's supposed to be a health outreach, then a health walk. But you know the situation in the country now, there will be a health walk. So we wanted to do just the health outreach. Then we'll continue the rest of the program for the conference. Actually in the morning when we came in, there were not much turnout. But when they saw the, the caliber of the people, the qualification, and they don't know that these are specialists, these are professionals, and they came with good. So after one hour from 10 o'clock, the whole place got filled up, and we'll be seeing them, you know, carrying out normal routine checks. And then, what we're doing here today is community health outreach. We are trying to give back to the society in commemoration for the national conference that is holding the post in the States. Now. That is what we are doing today. You can see we are carrying out so many investigations, giving drugs free of charge, giving me uh, medication counseling, and the rest of them. For the patients that need referral, we refer them to higher, um, for higher management, better management to hospital. So that is what we are doing today.
by who? I'm proud to be part of you. I've never been in any other group. So my coming here is just to be to feel your presence and to encourage you to think futuristically. Yes, think futuristically. We have done so much while we are in government to fight for the good of hospital pharmacy. You can ask anybody. Whatever success we are achieving now is because some of us have laid the foundation. And we are still laying foundations and building on top of the foundation. Your point, sir. So I'm happy that you people are coming here for an important discussion. You are going to succeed by the grace of God. Yeah. Hospital pharmacy is going to make an impact in the healthcare sector by the grace of God. I can count on you because I've seen that there is evidence of high level, um, high quality, high commitment to achieving success. So I wish you well. We are going to be there with you tomorrow and we hope we'll stay even longer. I can assure you that you can count on me for any support you need. Yes. Any support. All right. Please, you can count on me for any support you need. Any support. Together, together, together we are going to move the pharmacy profession forward. Every pharmacy forward. We are going to move the pharmacy profession forward. Our distinguished colleagues, we are grateful. This is just the beginning of all the beginning. So relax, enjoy gossip, you never regret coming to this conference. Thank you so much for coming to be with us in You are welcome.